Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 9.1. Number one, we're given a sequence, a sub n. We're asked to write out the first five terms of the sequence. All right, so this acts just like function notation. This tells us where to start with n, and this tells us what to do with the n. So the first term of the sequence we'll get by plugging in n equals zero. So a sub zero equals negative one to the zero power, three to the zero minus one power, over four to the zero plus one power. So I get negative one to the zero power is one. I have three to the minus one power over four to the first power. And remember from algebra one, that negative one exponent is going to move that factor to the denominator. And that's one twelfth. I go to n equals 1 to get to the second term. a sub 1 is negative 1 to the first power, 3 to the 1 minus 1 power, over 4 to the 1 plus 1 power. Negative 1 to the first is negative 1. I've got 3 to the 0 power over 4 to the second power. 3 to the 0 is 1, so I get negative 1 over 16. The third term, n equals 2, I'm plugging in n equals 2, so negative 1 to the second power, 3 to the 2 minus 1 power, over 4 to the 2 plus 1 power, negative 1 squared is positive 1, so I get 3 to the first power, over 4 cubed, and that's 3 over 64. n equals 3, a sub 3 is negative 1 to the third power, 3 to the third minus 1 power, over 4 to the 3 plus 1 power. I'm kind of drifting here. That um, 3 minus 1 is up in the exponent there. So negative 1 cubed is negative 1. 3 squared over 4 to the fourth. So it's going to give me a negative 9 in the numerator and a 256 in the denominator. So that's the fourth term. And finally, n equals 4. a sub 4 is negative 1 to the fourth, 3 to the 4 minus 1, over 4 to the 4 plus 1. So negative 1 to the fourth is a positive 1. I've got 3 cubed over 4 to the fifth. So that's uh, 27 over 1024. So that's the first five terms of this sequence. 1 12th, 3 over 64, neg uh, negative 1 16th. Oops, I missed that one. Hold on. So it's 1 12th, negative 1 16th. 3 over 64, negative 9 over 256, and 27 over 1024. So that'll do it for part A. Now for part B, we're asked if the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither, and to explain our reasoning. Okay, so how am I going from one to the next? Well, to be arithmetic, I have to be adding or subtracting the same thing each time. And you can try to find the common difference, d, if it is arithmetic, by subtracting negative 1 16th minus a 12th, 3 over 64 minus negative 1 16th, and you'll find you're not getting the same number each time. So arithmetic is out. What about geometric? How am I going from one to the next? Do I, am I going from one to the next by multiplying by the same number, r? Okay, well, you know, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, 1 12th to negative 1 16th, negative 1 16 to 364. Um, but as you get further down the sequence, it appears as if we're always multiplying the top by a negative 3, and we're always multiplying the bottom by a 4. And so the question is, does that pattern happen all the time? Uh, we could actually find that out. So, you know, it appears to be geometric. But um, 
to know for sure, what we can do is, by definition of the common ratio of a geometric sequence, we can take the ratio a plus 1 over a n and see if we get the same thing each time. So a n plus 1 means I'm going to take this, and everywhere I see an n, I'm going to substitute an n plus 1. So negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 3 to the n plus 1 minus 1 over 4 to the n plus 1 plus 1. So that's the a n plus 1. And I need to divide that by the formula for a sub n. So I've got negative 1 to the n plus 1, 3 to the n power, over 4 to the n plus 2 power. And when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. Alright, so what we want to do is um, gather the like terms here, or the like factors, I mean. So negative 1 to the n plus 1 is in the numerator. And we have a negative 1 to the n in the denominator. I've got a 3 to the n in the numerator. And a 3 to the n minus 1 in the denominator. And I've got a 4 to the n plus 1 in the numerator. And a 4 to the n plus 2 in the denominator. And so properties of exponents says if I have the same base, I can subtract the exponents. So this would be negative 1 to what power? I'd have to take n plus 1 minus n. That just gives me the first power. So I get negative 1 to the first power times 3. I have to subtract the exponents. n minus n minus 1. So I get a first power there as well. And then finally 4. Subtract the exponents. I get minus 1. So, I multiply this out. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And the 4 to the negative 1 power puts it in the exponent, or puts it in the denominator. So, I've shown that for any value of n, the ratio of a n plus 1 over a n is negative 3 fourths. Which means the way I go from 1 to the next is I'm multiplying the numerator by negative 3 and multiplying the denominator by 4. So it's geometric, and the ratio is negative 3 fourths. So that'll do it for number one.